Okay, hi there. If you're watching this video, it's probably likely that you're trying to learn how to make changes to your PDF before it goes to the proofreader. There are two ways. The best way to do it is if you have Acrobat, which is a program by Adobe, and it does cost, so if you don't have it, don't worry, we have another option. I'll go over that in just a minute. But your first option is with Adobe Acrobat. So here's my book. It's open in Acrobat, and I want to make changes. So I am going to go through and see. Okay, let's see. For example, this page needs to be added. So I want to add a comment. I want to add a sticky note. And you'll see that goes in, and you can drag that to where you want it to go, making note about that need to add copyright page. Okay, so that's basically how you do it. Uh, in this case, you would want to go through your whole book and see what changes you want to make and make those comments in the sticky notes. If you don't have Acrobat, you can open your book in Adobe Reader, which is free. You can download that off the internet if you don't have it already. Most computers come with it. Um, and you want to open your book in Adobe Reader. And you also want to open Word. So you want to open Word and open a new document in Word and have those kind of sitting next to each other is the easiest way for me. So I'm viewing my book and I go along and just like we did before, see I see a note here on page two of the document I need to add copyright. Page two, copyright information, I can't type. Add. And then you would continue on going through. Let's do it, for example, with a sentence. Let's say you would rather take out personally here, for example. So I would say on page 7, the second paragraph first sentence change to I am not a big reader so you can do it that way or you can say instead of this you can say remove personally sentence should read I am not a big reader period so you want to make sure that they know what needs to be taken out and what you want it to look like at the end and exactly where it's located we don't want to give them any ideas that it that aren't specific to exactly where you want the changes made so um, if you have any questions, of course, you can always email me at colleen at expertmessage.com, expertmessagegroup.com, and let me know if you're having problems. Other than that, um, please edit away.